Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech Genie. Today I'm showing you how to flash your own custom recovery onto your phone, and I'm gonna show you how you do that using your Mac computer. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the problem I had with my phone was I downloaded CyanogenMod 13, and you may know with that sometimes certain downloads, I think all of them actually, do download CyanogenMod's own custom recovery. And that doesn't work on my phone. I'm not sure if any other people have had this problem, but it doesn't work on my phone, and I can't actually from there flash any new files onto my phone so I'm kind of stuck with a non-complete working ROM and I can't actually fix that problem. Now the only way to fix it that I've found is to use Jodin for Mac and I'm going to go onto the computer now and show you that. First of all, if you were wondering, this is what Cyanogen Mod Recovery looks like. So I'm not sure if that's focused but basically what you can do is you can go in and you can flash your own files from this recovery. Unfortunately for me that doesn't work but I'm going to show you how you can fix this or if you just have root permissions how you can install your own custom recovery. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure we've downloaded some correct files. Now I have linked them down below in the description. All you need to do is install Heimdall for Mac. Now if you've got El Capitan, there will be a separate download link for you. Or try first of all the download from their main site. They may have updated it by the time you're watching this video. But make sure you've downloaded that file and you also need to download Jodin. Now for Jodin to work, you need to make sure you have Java installed on your computer. All you do, type in Java uh, into Google and basically just click on the free download and then it will run a little test and then you'll have Java installed and then you're ready to go. Just reboot your computer to make sure Heimdall installs. Once you've clicked the install button, reboot immediately and it should install into your applications. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is boot our phone into download mode. Basically download mode looks like that. All you need to do is press the home button, the power button and the volume down button all at the same time while booting your phone up and you should get this screen pretty quickly. Now what you want to do is head onto your computer and go into applications and open up Heimdall. Now for the sake of this video, I've put Heimdall down in the docs so you can see what it looks like. Now the uh, kind of app look of it is just that thing, it doesn't actually have its own app. It's called Heimdall Fronted, but all you need to do is click on that and open it. Now what I will suggest you do is boot your phone into download mode just before you open up Heimdall. Don't leave it sitting in download mode for ages because I've had a few problems with it kind of timing out. So make sure you just boot your phone into download mode. Okay, then what you want to do is get your phone and get a computer get a lead uh, for your phone and plug it into the computer like so then click the volume up to continue and you'll have that little man droid robot appear on your device now we head onto the computer and all we want to do is head over to utilities and click on detect hopefully it says device detected um, uh, if it doesn't what you want to do is you want to reboot into download mode plug it back in again try again if that doesn't work still make sure you're the admin user there. if that doesn't work try a new computer or try a new USB port. Um, I've had a few problems with this in the past and that's the only way I've managed to fix it. So what you want to do is once you click detect, click on save as and select, uh, give it a file name, so I'm going to call it GTI9100, that's my model number. And then you want to click on save, the way you're going to save it. Now all you want to do is click download. And hopefully this should start to download a PIP file from my phone onto the device. Now you'll need to do this for your own device, you can't just get one off the internet um, because you don't know how reliable theirs will be. So make sure you've done this and make sure you download the correct PIP file onto your home screen. Okay, so now you've done that, the next thing to do is to go onto Safari or and type in or whatever web browser you're using type in the uh, recovery that you want whether it's CWM clockwork mod recovery or TWRP team win recovery project something like that type that in to Google so CWM recovery for GTI 9100 or your model number and then dot tar file it must be a dot tar file for this to work to be able to use this piece of software if you don't have a dot tar file then it won't work so make sure you've done that can't be a dot zip okay so now what we want to do is you want to open Jodin and just double click that and it should open now if you've got Heimdall open and it says it's connected it should say it's also connected on Jodin as well so now what you want to do is click on pit and then select your pit file from wherever you've saved it so I've selected mine and it was saved on the desktop now what you want to do is click on the PDA button and then select your recovery file from wherever you save that as well okay so we're going to click start and hopefully this should then run through and then work and I'll show you once we're done now you'll see on here it's now saying uploading kernel and on here we get a little progress bar so once this is done it should tell us that it's done and we'll then eject it okay guys so for some reason my recording stopped working just as it said pass but basically up in this top left square you will have something that says pass if it has worked if it didn't work just install Jodin again make sure you're in the admin account 
and just try and re-download your PIP file again and then just keep on flashing it until it works. Sometimes what I seem to find is the download mode in this sometimes for some reason times out and if I reboot back into download mode and try again it then works perfectly fine. I don't know why this happens but it does and it is actually quite annoying but just keep on trying guys that is the only suggestions I have if it doesn't work. Um, once I've done that and I've booted into recovery mode by pressing the power button home button and volume up button holding those until I get into recovery mode and this is the new recovery mode I have now flashed. So this is clockwork mod recovery um, and basically from here what I can then do is go back in and flash any files that I have downloaded onto my SD card and I can flash them and get my phone up and running again and no problems there. If you don't have anything, anything saved in your uh, device and you have an SD card, what I suggest you do is take your SD card out, plug it into the computer and download the files onto your computer. Make sure they're .zip files um, for your ROM and then just drag it onto your SD card and then you can flash it from your SD card onto your phone. But that's how you change the recovery mode on your phone if you have a problem where your original recovery isn't working. Also, if you don't have a recovery on there installed anyway, and you do have root permissions, this method will also work for you there. Again, this only works for Samsung devices, and I hope this guy, this helped you out, guys. I've had a lot of problems with this in the past, and um, that's the reason why I'm helping you guys out and letting you guys know how to fix these problems. And any times you come up with any problems and I come up with them, let me know, and we'll try and sort it out, and I may do another video on this in the future. And if you have any other ideas or things you want to see, for rooted devices, don't forget to let me know down in the comments. I would always love to do something like that, it'd be great fun. Um, but in the meantime, don't forget to live long and prosper.